120 hungry princes are about to burst through that door. Each one of them more entitled than the last. They expect perfection. Iltani, I told you a thousand times I want to see my face in that floor. It's filthy. What is? The floor or your face? <laughs> Do it again or out you go. Mm, I love how you handle him. Well, when you get to be my age, people just assume you're confused about everything. <laughs> Seriously, though, I can't imagine still doing this stupid job when I'm as old as you are. I don't know. It wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't for all this hard work. Sweetie, all this job is, is hard work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know how I feel about it? I'm thankful. What? Believe me, I'm just as surprised as you are. But why? How? Scrubbing these floors has taught me a great deal about what's important in life. Not power, not fame, definitely not money. The really valuable stuff can't be bought. Like what, Iltani? Wait a minute. I know what's happening here. We're not really gonna do this, are we? Yay! This is gonna be fun. <laughs> I've been down and out. Life made me run for cover. For cover. La 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 la. Knocked around. I thought my life was over. So sad. Lost my In summation, 
We need to develop a plan for returning all the Babylonian idols to their home temples. This nuisance Nabonidus created must be corrected soon. Is that clear? Great! Is it lunchtime? Today we're having pureed lizard meat with cabbage. Yum! Ugh. I'm afraid there's one more item on the agenda, sire. Will the distinguished gentleman from the first province state your business? Your Majesty, as you know, our first round of tax collections brought in a wonderful sum. Rolling in the dough, cha -ching. And we have discussed a variety of ways we can put that money to good use. Tons of ideas, each one better than the last. But it has come to our attention that what this empire really needs is strong leadership. Gotta have it. Pillars of strength. Recent studies have shown the good citizens of our empire will only obey those they admire. That is a fact. Can't deny it. So... The fine princes of your realm agree the best way to prevent rebellions from rising up Like a snake is to build stately palaces Glorious in every province One for everybody from which your leaders can govern and live With our moms So that <clears throat> So that the people will know we are a powerful and unified government they can trust Long live King Darius Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Right, right, right. Hmm not a bad idea. What do my presidents think? My king, I was just saying to Babak, we need to display our wealth so the people will know their empire is safe and eternal. I think it's a wonderful idea. All in favor? All opposed. Uh, Daniel, you'd get a palace too. Why oppose it? I would love a palace, my king. But just days ago, our own Farzan had a better idea. He suggested we spend that money on roads. Building roads will broaden our trade routes and allow our armies to travel easily from border to border. If we want to strengthen our egos, we'll give ourselves houses. But if we want to strengthen our empire, We'll give ourselves roads. Well stated, Daniel. I'm considering placing someone in charge over all our affairs, second only to me. And you may have just earned that job. Oh, my Daniel's right. Tomorrow, we build roads. But today, ah, we eat. <laughs> Fish paste, here I come. <laughs> I'll deal with you two later. Ow! What did I do? Why did you have to bring our moms into this? What's wrong with our moms? I never said fish paste, here I come. No? Well, maybe I'm just a confused old woman. Well, you're most definitely old. I I'm shocked Daniel would get you a job scrubbing floors. That isn't the job Daniel got for me. He got me a job as a scribe, but I turned it down. Why? Because I didn't want to owe him any more than I already did. And besides, I, I didn't deserve it. Well, it doesn't matter now anyway. Your story is over, I guess. I already know what happens next. You don't know as much as you think you do. <clears throat> what is that supposed to mean? Nothing. Can I go now? No, you may not. If you know something about my empire, you must tell me. Please. Later that day, I stumbled into something I'm sure you knew nothing about. And I made a mistake that may have cost Daniel his life. Arsalan, now before you say anything, you should know this housing debacle is all his fault. That is not what we agreed to say. I don't care about the houses anymore. This new development could ruin everything. What new development? Were you not listening? The king is planning to put Daniel in charge of everything. I thought he already was in charge. No, he's not in charge. We rule this empire. <laughs> we all voted for palaces and Daniel shut us down. If that's not in charge, I don't know what is. Well, I for one will no longer allow this Jewish exile to boss me around. He must go. But how? The king loves him. Then we'll have to make the king not love him. There must be a way. Think. Oh, 
You know how Daniel's always trying to improve our food storage system? Yes. And he's always trying to get the king to pass those laws that help the poor people? Yes. And you know how the king's always bragging about how honest and trustworthy he is? <sighs> yes. And how Daniel never does anything wrong? And how the king would never believe us, even if we said he did? Are you deliberately trying to upset me? Look, he's an idiot, but he's telling the truth. Then perhaps there's a more permanent solution. We could... kill him. How dare you, you wicked fiends! What? Are you senile? Do you know who we are? I know exactly who you are, and who Daniel is, and you, sir, aren't worthy to even say his name! Watch your tongue, old woman! You can't get rid of Daniel! I know! I've tried! He's protected by a power even I don't understand! So what chance do you have? Are you implying you're smarter than us? I didn't imply. I stated. That's it. I'll have your job for this. Which is nothing compared to what you'll lose. Get out! Daniel serves his god with an unwavering faith and prays three times a day without exception. Push me no further, That's woman. That's why you can't touch him. He'll never stop praying, and his god will never leave Whoa, him. Whoa, wait a minute. What did you say? I said you're no match for Daniel and his god. No. You said Daniel has a weakness. He prays morning, noon, and night, never skipping. He wouldn't stop for anything. That's right. It's not like he hides it. He'd probably even do it if it was illegal. Ridiculous! There's no law against praying! Then maybe there should be. For months we've been talking about how to send back all those idols Nabonidus brought here. Wouldn't it be easier to move them without all those pesky worshippers hanging around? I bet they'd go away if we suspended prayers. And if they didn't. They'd have to be punished. Severely, like the lion's den. <laughs> yes, the princes are going to praise our names. You're out of your minds. King Darius will never sign a law like that. And yet I hear the fear in your voice. Thank you, old woman, for giving us the perfect plan. <laughs> So obvious it was there all along Why did we not think of this sooner? If we had, he'd already be gone So now we see his weakness We'll hit him where it hurts the most We just have to outlaw his religion Then it won't be long till this guy is toast Together we'll be heroes We're gonna, gonna be heroes, heroes, we're gonna, gonna
we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna be heroes. I knew it. I knew the minute they came back that I'd been tricked. They fooled me. It's not uh, your fault, my king. Oh, I don't blame myself. I blame you. Me? I didn't mean to give them ideas. I was trying to stop them. You should have said something. If Daniel had been warned, we wouldn't be in this mess. I did tell him about the law, about their wicked plan, everything. You told him. Not right away. I waited to see if they would actually do it. The day after you signed the law, I saw Daniel pray three times, as always. And they saw him too. I had to tell him. Daniel! We've got a huge problem with the Southwest Wall construction. Not a problem, young man. An opportunity. Yeah? Well, we've got a doozy of an opportunity brewing down at the wall. We've waited three weeks for the new shipment of bricks. Now they're here, and they're a quarter of an inch shorter than the bricks we already have. Ah, uh, how can I work with this kind of nonsense? That is a puzzle, isn't it? But one I think we can overcome. Let's take a look, shall we? Iltani, is everything all right? Why don't you go on down? I'll catch up. But don't go solving that puzzle without me. What is it, Iltani? What's troubling you? I did something terrible. I didn't mean to, but I did. And it's you who will be hurt by it. There's a thousand reasons why you should hate me, but this is the worst of all. Iltani. I'm ashamed. And I plan to leave the city. You'll never have to see me ever again. Iltani, stop this. I forgive you. What? I forgive you. Y you don't even know what I've done yet. Oh, right. Continue. While I was working, I overheard something. I forgive you. That's not the bad part! I know! I'm just saving us some time. I already know how this is going to end. You do? How does it end? I forgive you. No, you don't understand! I was just thinking the same thing about I'm you! I'm trying to tell you I've done horrible things! Things you don't know about! And I forgive you! Stop it! Stop! I don't deserve to be forgiven! Oh, Iltani... There's nothing you can do that's beyond forgiveness. I told the princess how to kill you! Could you... elaborate on that a little bit? I overheard the princess plotting to get rid of you. I tried to defend you, but all I did was help them. They're going to kill you, Daniel. Well... that's uncomfortable. They tricked Darius into passing a law. If you keep praying, they'll put you to death. Ah, uh, yes. I am aware of that law. What? You knew about it? Of course I knew about the law. I just didn't know it was all for me. It's a bit excessive in my opinion, but clever, I suppose. How can you be so calm? They're trying to kill you and it's, it's all my fault! It's not your fault. Yes, it is! This time and every time. The truth is, behind your back, I've always been terrible to you. I've resented you, even hated you. And you've been nothing but nice to me, and that's made me hate you even more. And your god infuriates me! Again and again doing things that can't be explained! How can your god be real? Why am I so confused about it and scared? Why does it hurt so much to think about? I'm... I'm so tired of fighting. My life is empty, and I've only got myself to blame. Save your forgiveness. I don't deserve it. Where there is fear, God can bring peace. And to the undeserving, God calls us into his loving arms and says, I forgive you. You are forgiven, Iltani. You are loved. And you've never been alone. 
God is with you. I want to believe that. I want to believe so badly, but, but how? Why would he love me? Is that why you're afraid to reach out to him? Do you think he'll see your hand and turn away? Why wouldn't he? I've done so much wrong. Oh, Iltani. God doesn't need you to reach out to him. Because he's already reaching out to you. He knows exactly who you are, and he loves you anyway. He is with you always, waiting for you to accept his forgiveness. Stop fighting, Iltani. Proclaim him to be the god of your life. Open your heart and let him in. And with him, he will bring overwhelming peace forever and ever. Will you accept him now? I feel like I have nothing to offer. I feel like I have no right to be here. Yet you look at me and I feel welcome and it melts away my fear. I feel like I've been lost all my life. Seems like I've always been alone. Yet you look at me and there's only a smile like there's something you know that I don't. Do you see that I cannot? Tell me, how do you forgive without a second thought? When you feel forgiveness and you know it's true, you are loved and that love shines through. It gives me He's always loved you. I hear the words but do not understand. But I really want to believe. I want to know. I want to understand grace you've shown to me what do you see that i cannot tell me how do you forgive without a second thought when you feel forgiveness and you know it's true you are loved shines through it gives meaning to life and makes everything new my god loves me and he's always loved you am i forgiven is it really true can i have this love the same So, 
What will it be, Iltani? After all you've seen, will you accept God into your life? I... I can't. Then I'll wait. And so will God. Daniel? What are you going to do about the law? I don't know. I guess I'll have to pray about it. Wait, what? Daniel! Look alive! Daniel's almost here! You're still going to do this? After all I've told you? After all I've done? I told you that I forgive you. That's hardly the point. Who is that with Daniel? Is that the old lady from the palace? Oh, great. This is not good. You would defy a law from the king himself? No law of man can supersede the will of God. Daniel! It's okay. The Lord will watch over me. That very night, he was arrested. His penalty came swiftly and without mercy. For his crimes against the unchanging laws of the Medes and the Persians, I'm sorry, Daniel. he is sentenced I'm to be so thrown sorry. to his death in the den of lions. So let it be written. So let it be done. No! Pray, Daniel. The God you are so faithful to, he will deliver you. He will deliver you. Tani, that's enough. You don't know what happened inside that dig. No, but there's no way it happened otherwise. I couldn't disagree with you more. Based on what? Based on everything. You may not be ready to accept it, but I am. I believe, Iltani. I believe. I believe Daniel's God is the one true God, the only living God. The kind of God that can reveal dreams and, and topple empires. And yes, the kind of God that can keep Daniel safe in the lion's den. I know this now for certain. Nothing can be known for certain. Just hearing Daniel's story changed my life. Yet you actually witnessed these events and still you refuse to accept them? What more is there, Iltani? What are you so afraid of? I don't know. I, I don't know anything. Look. Look, a, a new day is dawning. I believe now more than ever that Daniel could still be alive, and I'm going down to get him. Will you come with me? You really think it's true? That he's alive? L let's call it a hunch. No, let's call it faith. <laughs> I believe God can do anything. A and if Daniel's alive, then I don't want him to be down there one moment longer than he has to be. Come with me. Almighty God, I've been sitting here for what seems like an eternity. Both of my legs are asleep, but they are still attached to my body, and I'm pretty sure I have you to thank for that. I've led a very long life, and you've blessed me far beyond what I deserved. But... I have to ask, Lord, what is to become of me? Why hold back these lions if all it means is a slower death from thirst or hunger? Are you even there, Lord? 
Can you hear me? <gasps> Master! Fear not, Daniel. God has sent me to protect you this night. Stand and have courage. How can I stand before you? I can hardly breathe. Be strong, have peace, and don't be afraid. I, I have seen you before, in vision. Yes, and you will see me again. This is not the end for you, Daniel. Many things are yet to come. Soon, many of your people will return home, but you will not. Your work is here. What can I do, Master? I will do all you ask. Soon, more of the future will be revealed to you. Record what you see and then go your way, for the words are not meant for you. I'm frightened, Master. The images I've seen are so troubling, I don't understand any of it. Live without worry, Daniel. For when it's all over, you will receive the reward you deserve. Praise God. Praise God! Once again, I find myself in a place I cannot win on my own. Here I am Believing you know The trouble that I'm in I'm not alone And it is in these moments Your strength is what I need I'll trust in you When danger roars Cause you are here with me and I know that in these moments Where I don't think I'll make it through It is in these moments I disappear And all I see is you And it is in these moments that I see Your overwhelming love for me and forever I will serve you Forever I will serve you Forever I will serve you Faithfully Tani, what are you waiting for? Do you think there is a chance Daniel's safe in the lion's den? And could it be his God is faithful? Do you really think he can? All I know is last night when he was thrown in I looked into his eyes and I was more scared than him. Am I crazy to have hope when it seems that I should not? It was my mistake that put him there. It was all my fault. The truth is, we can't know. We must wait and see. But after all you've seen, you can't rule out the possibility. And it is in the moment when we cannot see our weakness is exposed and hope is beyond reach. My king, where are you going? Oh, mind your own business. Hold your tongue, old woman. Do not speak to my friend that way. 
But, your majesty... We're going to get Daniel out of that den. You can't do that, sire. Remember? Your word is the infallible law. Yes, unless it's overruled by God himself. God? <laughs> what madness is this? Which god do you think is giving the orders? You'll find nothing but pieces up there. Then leave us! We have to see for ourselves. If the lion's den is now Daniel's tomb The guilt I feel is heavy And I can't wait a moment more But I can't help but worry What this day will have in store Everything is quiet Should we be hearing something now? If his God saves him from lions there just cannot be a doubt break the seal and quickly now roll the stone King, live forever! My God sent his angel, who shut the lion's mouths so they wouldn't hurt me. I've been found innocent before God and before you. I've done nothing to harm you. I know, Daniel. Iltani told me everything. Come on, let's get you out. Here, take my hand. You know what? On second thought, can we get him a rope? I, I mean, let's get him a rope. Gentlemen, may I have a word? Um, you know what? Look at the time. I gotta go. Oh, yeah, I've gotta go too. I've got a thing. Um, yeah, <laughs> I got the same thing. Oh, I want my mommy. <laughs> Would you please go get them? My lions have a bone to pick with those guys. Daniel, I believe. I'm not afraid to say it anymore. I accept God into my life, and I want to serve him as faithfully as you do. <sighs> I've waited my whole life to hear you say that. Praise God, and I'll never stop. Praise him. You too? How long was I down there? Oh, come on, I have so many questions to ask you. <laughs> yes, me too. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you for taking care of me. Faithfully. <laughs> <laughs>